Strokes last night on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais show. With Steve Merchant. Definitely, definitely. Ahoy. And little Carl Pilkington. Little KP, over there. the K-Man. Steve. Yes. Don't worry anymore. Go, okay. I've procured some great gifts to give away. I was tired really? of seeing all these other people getting gifts and that, and it was go yep. all going to that uh, O Doddle and uh, O Diddley. Diddley and, Diddley, yeah. And, uh, uh, Anderson and Sturge, or she at least she steals them herself. Well, at least she steals them herself to sell them to feed the habit, and that's yeah. why I don't mind that because it's no, industrious. Exactly. But I have got feeder Echo Park. I've got the essential Bob Dylan. Now that is a good giveaway. That's a great giveaway. And reloaded three. Where have you, did you buy these yourself? No, you? little Carl found them. Let me. I have to say, Carl, you've done an absolute dynamite job here, mate. This is great prize. And I thought we could play that trivia quiz where we, we we're the challenge. They, if they get right. someone to catch us out, maybe, or some other question. Like you confused me slightly. Explain again. Well, we could play a little trivia quiz, couldn't we? Right. And then we could sell the fish. <laughs> Use the, the words that you need man. to complete the sentence, and Rick. Then, and then oh, we could do this. this what, what's the quiz? I don't know. you not thought this through. No. Coal play in yellow. <laughs> You've got to keep talking, Rick. We're on the right. radio. I got bored. Did you? XFM 104.9. Yeah, with Steve Merchant. What I was saying was... Yes. We could have a little trivia quiz, right? This is how it works. Their, their phone in, yeah? Right? And they pitch a question to us two, right? We won't know it. They'll tell Carl, and Carl won't know the answer, yeah? Or uh, on his email, right? <laughs> and then it might be something like, um, Oh, uh, who was the uh, first woman MP? And... Uh, write down the answer, and they go, okay, Steve Ricky was the first one MP. We'll write it down. You know, I mean, you'll write down something like the Queen, yeah, and I'll write down Britney Spears, <laughs> yeah. and they go, well, Ricky says Britney Spears, and the answer is, did I see? Yes, 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 and, yes. And yes. then whoever's so, they, can they can they phone in or do they can they email as well? They can email as well, Steve. Right. Okay. So let me just try and clarify this because I didn't really follow that, and no. I know what the competition is. Right. <laughs> um, people listening. Phone in or email in with a question, a trivia yeah. question. It could be about anything. I right? don't do game shows. But, like one, not, but one which we may be able to get, right? They phone in with that or they email it in, but uh, only Carl knows the answer. He asks us here in the studio the question. Ricky and I write it down independently. We hand it to Carl. We see who's got the right answer. It's like 15 to 1, but 2 to 1. And the great thing is that the best question that we'll vote on at the very end of the show can win these three CDs. We've got Feeder, Echo Park, The Essential Bob Dylan. That's a two-CD set, Rick. Maybe keep the questions highbrow to show our intellect, not things like pop and trivia. And, Good idea. And, and we've also got this big uh, compilation, Reloaded 3. That's also a two-CD compilation. We'll start phoning and emailing now. Phoning like, emailing go with your trivia Absolutely questions. Go berserk. For Gervais. I'm best merchant. in science. Well, don't start well, don't giving things. That. That's not That's fair, cos I'll say I'm best at films if they want yeah, me to Yeah, but I've already said don't do trivia and entertainment and that. Well, they should do well, They should no. do trivia and entertainment. Music and films is what they should do. No, they shouldn't. Or old TV. TV. That's, that's the cliché of XFM listeners, and I know they're more intelligent than they're that. They're not. They're not, Rick. They're, they're stupid <laughs> people. <laughs> they're stupid, stupid people, and they only know about a few things. Yeah. Garbage, cherry lips on XFM 104.9. Well, either they really want those CDs, or they want to embarrass us. Mm. Because uh, the phone lines are going mad. And they Carl's are going mad. Taking... We didn't even give out the phone number or the email, Rick. Shall I just give it out now? Well, obviously, Could... I don't need to. Well, I ought to anyway, for those that didn't hear it, but didn't know it already. Of it. 08700, 08700, 800, 1234. Sorry, that's not 08700, 08700, because I, I started again because I got. I sort of fluffed slightly. Yeah, go on. 0800 800 1234. And when he says he fluffed, like, I, that, that's not how he got into television. <laughs> exactly. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk if you want to email the question. And only Carl can see the screen, so there's no cheating. Probably people don't know what fluffing is, do they? No, I don't think so, Rick. Uh, Carl, have you had a question? What, already? Are we doing it now? Do we do it now? Well, well, I think we should just drip them in throughout the yeah, course of the show. Yeah, yeah, you could want dripping them in. Go on. <laughs> Ask yeah, us a right. question. I thought this was a good one. It's from Clive. Go on in. Clive, we've got a listener called Clive. Wow. That's all right. Who was the first James Bond? Oh, it's right. his film one. I didn't know no, that. No, but wait a minute, but wait I a minute. I know, I know this ambiguity because we've talked about we've it. We've talked about this ambiguity before. You see, he could, he's, he might be deliberately embarrassing us because the old myth is that someone played it on radio yeah, at that we all know and love. Yeah. Now, he should have specified, did he mean the film, James Bond, the first well, the film, thing, James Bond? Is, that, can I just say, the, we, we won't count this one, because the definitive one, and I've talked to, to Glenn about it as well, it, it, it's Doctor No, it was the first one of the team that we... Sean Connery. Know. So, Sean Connery's the first screen James Bond. So, we, we agree on that, even if we're both wrong. What did he say it is? I bet he said, I bet he said it was Bob Holness who played him on radio in, like, the 1950s. He didn't say the radio bit, but he said Bob Holness. From Blockbusters? Yeah. And I was drawing a little Blockbuster thing. That's yeah, really spooky. That is, that's weird, isn't it? 
But the thing about that is I, I'm worried if it might be a myth. It may be well, a no, myth. Well, I don't, no, I don't think it is. It's that, that we can't One point that. to me, then. No. Yes. No. Well, you did, did you not. know it? Did you know it? Did yeah, you we to... talked about no, it. No rubbish. Yeah, but who, well, if we talked about it, did I say it to you? No, we agreed that it was Sean Connery because it, it just like we didn't count Casino Royale because you said it wasn't by the same team. And it yeah, was but that wouldn't from... have been the first James Bond anyway because that came later in the series. No, Rick. No, 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 no. no, no, no don't no play way. the music. There's no way. That's clearly a point. You didn't know it was Bob Holness. He meant it was Bob Holness. I knew the answer, wasn't it? Well, fun loving criminals, Scooby Snacks. Anyway. It doesn't matter, because we, we both agreed once in the pub that the right answer is Sean Connery. Yeah, but wait a minute, wait, 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 the that. point's not that. The man phoned in with a question, and the yeah. answer the man was after was Bob Hollis. Oh, okay. And that's the answer I'll tell you I gave. what, the, the answer I was after was me. But that's I not such a thing. He's the question master, the man who phoned in. That's ludicrous. You, you, you to face the facts. You can't say, you can't say what number am I thinking of. You've got to, you've what got are you talking about? It's got to be the real answer. No, but I knew the answer he was after. So, oh, brilliant. Yes, because, us, you know, even if he's got it wrong, it's such common parlance now that Bob Holness was the first James Bond that I knew the answer. Face the facts. Right, give us another question, Carl. Jeez. Give us another question. God, he's a bad loser, isn't he? <laughs> I had a good one here, but... You've, you've forgotten it? Or... I sort of scribbled it down. This um, is brilliant, isn't it? Hang on a minute. We can edit this out, can't we? It's we not live, is it? This. It's, it's only a pilot. It's gonna... <laughs> 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 this is going to look great when it, when it comes out. Go on. Which food? Yeah. Um, Carl, you know making up the question. No, 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 it's just that I sort of took down the important bits. Brit, this is amazing. This is amazing radio. Go on. Which food kind of doesn't make you fat? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Right. I know what question is that? Oh, this is... No, it is proper. I love... I love the, imagine um, this on The Weakest Link. <laughs> what kind of food doesn't sort of make you... I mean, it doesn't make you fat. Um, what, this is... What, what, okay, do you want me to... Basically, no sort of calories in it. Um, celery. Water. Well, I mean, what do you mean? Do you mean a, 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 a vegetable? No, do you you're, mean you're right, you're right. Apparently, you... Yeah, you, it, it you, uses up more use calories more to bite it, it than, than... Yeah, but wait a minute, wait a minute, Rick. One, one all. No, it's not one all, because you're supposed to write it down. You didn't know. But you didn't... I, what do you mean I didn't know? You're supposed to write it down. That's the whole point. We're writing things you down. You said water! You said water! But that's because I thought we weren't taking the question oh, seriously, because you didn't know what he's talking about. One all! We've got to set the rules. This is ludicrous. bit too much like Porter's head, for my liking. Was it? Yeah. I quite enjoyed it. Beat a band. Well, that's because Port said are from your neck of the woods, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> Port, well, Port <laughs> no, said, I think you're fine. Yeah. I embarrassed myself. <laughs> 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 right, well, another question, quick. Is this, is this one, is this question a real question with a definitive answer? Or is it like, what is my most comfortable chair? <laughs> I don't know why people aren't going to maybe like Trivia Pursuit or something, just getting a question off that and then... Because they're, they're a little bit more discerning than that, Steve. Really, have you heard the questions? They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this Go is on. stuff they've overheard in pubs. <laughs> Go on, yeah. ask it. Ask it, Carl. I look at the car takes down and goes, what's that? <laughs> I know. What am I meant to write? Go on, then ask this one. Right. Um, wh what sort? No. <laughs> the the Pope. Yeah. Um, what semi -precious? Sorry, uh, Mrs. R Robinson, we're going to have to let you go. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> you are the weakest link, Carl. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, go on. The Pope. Yeah, the Pope. Yeah, we've got the Pope. Yeah, oh. that's not strictly a question. He wears a... Uh, oh, so, uh, he wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold blimey <laughs> trousers. Yeah. Does he live in a council flat? Yeah, he lives in a council flat. He wears but... a semi-precious stone. What's the stone? The Pope uh, wears a semi-precious stone. What is the stone? You mean, you mean, what is it called? Yeah. What is it called? What, is it got like a kind of um, well, papal I think, name? I think it's like, you know, is it is it a 18-carat one? <laughs> so we got to try and get right. the carrot uh, yeah. of the Pope's big diamond. He calls it Dennis. He calls it Dennis the Stone. <laughs> <laughs> do they want the, the, the do they want the type of gem it is? Like or is there some kind of papal Ruby, name for it? Or do they want it like the Rosetta Stone? Or I don't know. The, oh, you, oh, I can't actually. Play a record. Play two records. Let's not. Where's your head at? Basement Jacks. Mm. Right, okay. Let's get this have we, right. Have we, have, we, have we knocked this on the head, Dennis? It's not happening. Oh, here he is. Look, here he is. Come in. <laughs> in a, he's... How, how have you... Oh, oh God. I don't believe oh, that. Oh, that's pathetic. I do not believe that. I that's heard... absolutely pathetic. Now, they won't believe this, will they? No. Right, okay. if I say that Jonathan <laughs> Ross just got his massive member out, and he is a big lad, 
Come and, yeah. come and sit down. I've got your tickets, Mr Gervais. Thank well, you. What's going on down. here, then? Yeah. I, I mean, why yeah. are you dropping off tickets? Well, because, you know, in, in the spirit of the, the Comedy Awards, we like to have the rising young stars of the British Comedy that's Awards. That's right, yeah. and that's and, me. Well, we couldn't find any this year, so we asked <laughs> Ricky whether he would sit in the rising young star seat, and I, I wanted to deliver the tickets personally, so there's no excuses if he doesn't turn up later. Yeah. I, I always suspected that you were sort of pretty well endowed. Yeah. And uh, now and now we've seen... You know it's on webcam. That, that, that was just one of my cocks. <laughs> We That's the one you're wearing today. That, didn't we? Did we you? Well, don't say that. that. No, we were this is going to be the happening young station. What's going on? No, right. you can't say stuff like that. You yeah. can't. No, just, no, no. just careful what you say. Look after Julian Clary. Oh, Ten years in the wilderness, and he comes back in the person. Ten years in the wilderness. What happened to you? That's Jesus. Just, you're thinking of isn't just, it? Just because <laughs> you're on everything at the moment. I walked I mean? in here and I came in here and I thought this is the young happening place. And what do I see in here? Three old men sitting. What are you talking about? Room. I'm look only 28, 27. Yeah. You all yeah, look. You're crazy. wrecked. You all look wet. You're well, that's because we're always partying. I was looking for some youngsters. Where's the youngsters? I wanted to see some tight leather pants. I wanted to see some foxy chicks hanging on you every word. What is it? It's a bunch of old blokes on a block. They're washing up in a sink. But look at him. Even dresses for radio. Look this is him. ludicrous. It's amazing. It's like, you're, you're I love the fact you were on the phone to Gervais last night, weren't you? Asking his advice yeah. on clothes. Well, look at him. Well, He's going for the man down the DSS. I like look. that look. That's a nice look. <laughs> Have you got a single pair of trousers that aren't elasticated at the waist? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, ma they're maternity jeans, aren't they? They've got a whole fan pan panel that pulls this forward. The thing is, what I do, uh, at the end of the uh, week, I can pop these in the pan and I can make a nice suit with all the food <laughs> that's encrusted in them. At his years as a homeless coming before there. Look at you, but one why... step away from Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. I'd like, to be, I'd like to be that bit closer. <laughs> but why are you dropping off tickets? Are you a little bit... Because I, I thought you were married and stuff. Why do you suddenly got this obsession with Gervais? Because I'm G a bit rough, ain't I? <laughs> I? Yeah, it's like when you see Dale Winton out with those rough boys. I'd like to get one of young. <laughs> when, when a top celebrity in a lovely-looking suit drops, uh, walks down the corridor mm. with his penis out... Yes. Yeah. I know that I'm still you attracted. You know one. you've arrived. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was I was in all wet in the same way. For me, it was Des O'Connor. <laughs> it's like it's the passing on of the baton, if I may use that euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you've been battened. Well, it's, it's fantastic. Well, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it, is, it is a pleasure. I don't think I'm complacent just because I'm mixed with people like you. I still wake up and think, I don't believe it. I'm mates with Jono. Can I just oh, point out one I was listening to the show last week and I heard you, as always, revealing a little too much about yourself, if you don't mind me saying so. Yeah. Steve Trump. Not as much as you. you. No, but that was just for the, for the benefit of the room. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And talking about when you used to occasionally urinate in the sink. Yeah. When you were around my house last time and I came in <laughs> and you looked a bit shifty. No, please reassure me. It no. was it was more ownership. Yeah. I was like, I went to my territory and I, then yeah. then pe other people that come in that go, has Gervais been round here? It's like just marking my territory. Because my coffee the next morning had a hazelnut tang to it <laughs> that I don't remember putting in. Can I just say something? Because I mean, I used to I used to you know mention to you Gervais when we first started getting involved in the business. Yeah. I used to say if there was one celebrity I'd like to be friends with, it's Jonathan Ross. Yeah. Lo and behold. Ricky's befriended Jonathan Ross. I'm nowhere to be seen. But Not Ricky invited round. Me, Ricky told me that I could be his friend, providing I, I never extended the arm of friendship. Uh, right. Either. Yeah, if you ever... I if, thought as much. He tries I, to keep everyone else down he works with, from the office, all the other shows. He, he yeah. tries to keep them down. He's, I didn't even want I'm you to come one. in. I yeah, wanted yeah. to meet you on the steps. Yeah. I didn't even want to tell him you were around. <laughs> but you called. He went, who's that? And he saw your name come up. And he went, well, can I meet him? Well, well you're, no. com you're coming tonight, though, aren't you? This isn't Radio 2, by the way. These links are way too long. This is snappy radio. We have to play... The kids have lost interest. The kids want to hear Coldplay, Catatonia, You know what I like? How about some more of that instantly forgettable hip hop you play? <laughs> one, of those, one of those oh, obscure hip-hop who That's Thanks. the worst feature on British radio. You should be ashamed of yourself. Wait, Wait a minute, I've heard your quiz on Radio 2. Put it away. Put it away. I'm Carl. Carl, how are you doing? I'm all right. Got a question for you. All right, man. Got a question. Yeah. The Pope? Yeah. What semi-precious stone does the Pope wear? That is easy. Go on. Topaz. Is that the right answer? I don't know, I might have wrote it down. <laughs> I, I'm really sorry, Jonathan. It's not, it's not what he publicly admits to, but I have to know, because I was hanging out with him <laughs> at the Groucho one night, and he was saying, oh, look at this, look at this, look at that toe edge, can't buy that, look at look that. Look at that. Vatican City. Look at that, we can make a nice ring out of yeah. that, he said. Didn't go anywhere, but thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I better go, I've got to go, I've got to go and buy some winkle pickers. Thank you yeah. very much. Okay. Enjoy nice it. Steve. Yes. Carl, I wish I could say it had been a pleasure, thanks. but actually it was quite creepy. <laughs> 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 See you later. Thanks. thanks. You too. Beautiful day. Yep. Now, I was just saying that's probably one of my singles of the year, but was it this year or the year before? Oh, uh, crumbs, I don't know. It was, I think, was it 2000, the album? It was the first one off the album. Maybe that could be a question. <laughs> no, we need the answer, don't <laughs> well, we? We don't know the answer. No. We, oh, it's cool. Can I just ask, um, jo Jonathan Ross just came in there and to drop off some tickets for the Comedy Award show that he's hosting yeah. later this evening. Yeah. Uh, interesting, of course, a man who's 40 and still thinks it's funny to get his penis out. <laughs> It is, though. I love that. I love because it's like, when's that, when's that novelty going to wear off? 74, 75, <laughs> when it's just too horrible <laughs> exactly, to show in yeah. public, I imagine. Um, but, uh, 
but so he dropped off some tickets for you. Yeah. Um, was asking you fashion advice last night. Yeah. Came, I mean, he came after a three-hour radio show he's just done on Radio 2. Good show, by the way, worth tuning in. <laughs> um, he came straight around yeah. here, dropped some tickets off for you. He's now got to go and rehearse that show. The lovely man. I was out with you last night. Yeah. Went into this this pub, like, kind of, that we've been to a few times before. Went in there, and this guy came in and said, Your usual table, Ricky? <laughs> <laughs> Your usual table? Can I just ask you two questions, <laughs> uh, Godfather? <laughs> uh, one is... Have we won an, a prize tonight? On I the don't know. Wars? We genuinely two, don't know. Can you have someone iced for me? <laughs> <laughs> it's ludicrous. What have you suddenly got over all these people that they're doing all this way? When have you suddenly become the daddy? <laughs> well, I came from nowhere, and uh, you know, I, I've got I've got Polaroids of the head of all the right, stations. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Because what I'm worried about is that, like, when we're wrapped up in our winter coats, yeah. you're walking there in your little sort of you know little black overcoat, and I must look like your hood. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like your goon that walks with you. <laughs> Twice as tall. Uh, very much like Edward G. Robinson. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You are one well, yeah. the pug face, obviously. Yeah, well, don't go on about <laughs> Sorry, it. Sorry, that was a Freak. bit hard. All right, no, I don't know what you just well, did that. We've not, the, that. Even Jonathan Ross couldn't save this show. No. It is the only A celebrity I know. Yeah, I'm all it. out of ideas. I thought we'd have a trivia game. That's rubbish, because he can't read. Or write. Yeah, and that's... A, what is so it? So are we knocking the trivia game on the Yeah. Game? Yeah. Should uh, we, well, let's have one final question. On, what what's the answer? answer? What I answer? don't know. I don't know. For the Pope one. I don't know. We couldn't even figure out the question, Carl. What's the stone? What's the stone? It's... Oh. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Just don't, uh, entertain yourselves at home while <laughs> Carl looks for the uh, question. Amethyst. 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 Yeah. Okay. Amethyst. <laughs> no, she was the first woman MP, I think you'll find. Amethyst. Rubby or Diamondo? Um, so have you got maybe a final question? That's still one on it. Okay, do it one and then we knock this on the head. Yeah. Go on in. Where... what? <laughs> 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 Who... Uh, have you not been practising in all these... We've had ads, we've had music. <laughs> oh, where... what? Rick, I don't think we should call ITV later. Uh, but, with this. <laughs> Maybe he was talking about Jonathan's inquiry about sartorial elegance tonight. Where yes. what? Yeah. Maybe he's just like summed up that <laughs> yeah. conversation in What's just two. What's the most expensive pub in London? I think he won't know because he never pays. Hang on, wait a minute. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? You want me to buy? I'll buy the pub. How much is that? It's a million pounds, no, like, sir. If you go in, according to the Time Out guy, 2001, if you went in there and bought a big round, it's a dear pub. <laughs> <laughs> it's an expensive pub. Imagine this on Millionaire. Imagine that question well, on Mastermind. It's all too I know, your specialised subject, how, how much things are and that, and that, <laughs> and whether they make you fat when you eat them, then. It's in London. Is this like some guy went in the pub last night and thought, this is a bit pricey? <laughs> <laughs> this is the most expensive do, pub I've, I've ever been in. I'm going to expose them <laughs> exactly. on Ricky and Steve's show. This, does it mean, like, maybe is it a pub or a club, maybe, where you've got no, to be a no, member? No, it's a pub. I'll narrow it down, it's in Covent Garden. Punch and Judy. That's it. it. Has he got it right? Yeah. Too well, right. I have to hand it to you. Well done. Yeah. So brilliant. So well who done. who was that? Who was that question from? Because maybe that they should get these three CDs. Let's let, let's let's give them that. Who is it, Carl? There's no way of verifying that. That's probably libelous. They've probably it's made from the time out guide. Okay. All right. Carl, who what was it? What are you it? moaning for? You got it right. Yeah, I won. I won. Yeah. Carl, I won. Carl, who was it? The one. Well, listen, they know, so they've won. Yeah. Right. Stone. This is genius, Radio. This is brilliant. I tell you what's letting us down. Him. I know. KP, the P man. When he was just, <laughs> he was just doing the press buttons, and it was cool. Now we let him on the air because we thought it was funny. We quite like him. He's digging a grave for us. <laughs> right. Listen. This is a new feature I've introduced called "Songs I'd Like to Play" on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, oh, this is falling apart. And, uh, and a friend of mine sent me a little CD of uh, little treats and stuff. Oh. And one of them is this track. It's uh, called Monkey Man. It's from the Rolling Stones player card. It's an absolute gem. And what was that again, Steve? Rolling Stones and a track called Monkey Man. That's from a, a double CD, not available in the shops. My friend Dave G made a compilation for me, burned it onto CD using modern technology. That's one of the tracks on there. What's his name? What's his name? Dave Greenwood, obviously breaking several uh, copyright laws exactly. there. I would not encourage anyone to make copies of anything for anyone. It's breaking his the law. His name again if the police are listening? Dave Greenwood lives in Nottingham. I can How give details. How dare he do I, that it, for you? It sickens me, Rick. He's making you receive, you know... Stolen goods. Yeah. And there are various artists on there who've barely got a penny, who are losing money hand over fist. The Rolling Stones, for instance. Yeah, the and Doors. XFM have done that as well played off at, you know and that's terrible now we've implicated those as well ex ephemera culpable um so is dave g thankfully not us rick no we're just middlemen caught up in it we're you know what i mean <laughs> yeah mr biggs behind this there's always mr biggs pawns in his game 
And, um, <coughs> so that's, uh, I'll be playing another track from that uh, well, uh, later on. I've got a lovely couple of little tracks from my hip hop selection. Looking forward to uh, it. Is it like, can I just Jay? ask for it? Did you, get a, you did you get a um, little gift here from XFM? I did. Um, I got a lovely little voucher here. It was very nice. Yeah, very thoughtful. I've also got one. How much is yours for? £25. To spend at John Lewis or Waitrose. Yeah. A little uh, kind of gift voucher there. Oh, I think I'd, oh, I think I'd do uh, Waitrose because food, you can get a good lot of food for 25 quid. Absolutely right. You can't get a lot of like haberdashery for 25 quid. <laughs> so I'll be going with the food option. The thing about the gift voucher, a lot of people were, re I'm sure, receiving these over the Christmas sure. period. The thing about the gift voucher is it's like, it, it's like here's 25 pounds, yeah. but I've limited where you can yeah. spend it. It's it's like it's like they don't want to give money because that's go. Say so this is like money, but not as versatile. Exactly, you can't spend it in as many places. And but it's the thing is that surely the thing about a gift is, you know, you don't want people to know how much it was, and unless you're letting them make their buck their ideas up for next year. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? If an aunt gives you, like, uh, you know, a single, like a step single, and you've given her 25 quid at the body shop, yeah. you're saying, you know how much that single costs. Exactly. So do I. I'm not yeah. going to say, right? Yeah. Let's make up the difference next year, exactly. sorry, aren't we? You exactly. know what I mean? Let's spend 50 quid on me next year. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how much he got? How much did you get? Did you get a gift voucher as well? Yeah, but I work here all week. Right. How much do you get? 150. 150 quid? Yeah. What, in gift vouchers? Yeah. To spend at the same places? Mm. I'd have to say, though, I mean, it's not a very inventive gift, is it? It's Whoever a came up thought, with it, though. It's a lovely thought. It's wonderful to have £25 that I can, I can only spend in two places I never go in. But, uh, no, no, I'm not, Steve, I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth. Any I'm not any, looking eh? a gift horse in the mouth. It is it, a treat. It My only thought, he spoke to Jonathan Ross like he was a normal person. Uh, from someone whose dad buys him a spade for Christmas, I thought you'd be grateful. <laughs> My only thought is that John Lewis and Waitrose, I mean, it's not very rock and roll, it's not very XFM, is it? No, I mean, a tattoo parlour, yeah. maybe, you know, in a bike a shop. piercing, I might get my face pierced, just a big <laughs> exactly. bolt through my head. But, yeah. I mean, they're a little bit, aren't they a little bit like The Man? Aren't they a little bit mainstream, Yeah. Right? Hey? What would Billy we say about roll? this? I'll play a record, and don't make it a square record. <laughs> some on an indie label or something, or something that hasn't been even recorded. <laughs> yeah, that can't even become available yeah, ever. Yeah, I don't know what instruments they're playing. Oh, not the guitar. Some 41. In too deep. All right, Steve? Mm -hmm. It's been a long time. Eh? Hasn't it? What has it? Like, like, that seemed a long time, all that music we Yes, made. no, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, it's annoying, actually, that Carl never went to the email, because the questions have been sent in there. Good, good questions. And they've all been uh, sort of neatly spat out with the correct answer. For instance, I might have asked you this, if I was the quiz master, Rick. How many noses do slugs have? Oh, I think, it's, I think it's four. It is four? Yeah. Point to you there. Let me just see if I can find another one. Who, according to the current issue of Viz, is a cycloptic pop temptress? Oh, don't know. Is it a pun on her having one eye and being yep. sounding like... Cycloptic is the clue. There's yeah. only one pop temptress. Oh, it's, um, Gabrielle. Of course. Yeah. Two points. Mine are better. He didn't get them. These are, these are rubbish. <laughs> Have you ever watched a question? Because I can understand the question. They're rubbish, I suppose, aren't they? That gives me a chance to know what, what the answer is required. Go on. Uh, let me see if I can find another one for you. Uh, no, that's, you're never going to get that one. That's too hard. Oh, no, no that, that, just, that just... That just teases you more, yeah. isn't it? Uh, what's the name of... No, oh, that's boring, that one. Sorry. Hey, it's, it's beginning to fall apart again now. Uh, here we are. What's the proper name for Big Ben? Is it St. Stephen's Tower? You know, it absolutely yeah. is. That's three out of three. That's fantastic. Yeah, because the bell, the, named after something like Benjamin so-and-so works in it, and St. Stephen's Tower needs that's the big bell. It's actually, in a weird way, I didn't know any of those, so it's actually quite good that we did kind of balls it up with Carl, because otherwise I'd have, there'd have been egg on my face. Yeah, but I still won, I just won less. Oh, did you? Yeah, you did win. Yeah. 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 I've already forgotten, i already wiped that out of my memory. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, but, hey, Steve, it's not me that's the real winner. <laughs> it's Neil. Who uh, asked that question about pubs? About pubs, he and he's got those three CDs. Just mm -hmm. tell him what they are again. Just Feeder, Echo Park, a compilation called Reloaded Three. Lots of great stuff on there, and the Essential Bob Dylan two CD. Have set. you called him and told him? No, not yet. This is such a shambles, isn't it? Because what if he goes out or something? <laughs> Actually, if he's listening, can he give us a call? That is so lazy. Can't we call him like Tarrant would? I would have got his number. Him. You've not got his number. I forgot. Carl, oh, this is unbelievable. I said get the numbers, Carl. I I wanted to go for the Pope one. Carl, do you actually work here in the week? <laughs> or, like, did you just... <laughs> you know, like, in a film, when they knock someone on the head, put on the space you would go to the yeah. room like, Is it like... Is, yeah, is it like Secret of My Success and Michael J. Fox? You actually work in the post room, but Saturdays there's no one around that recognises you. So you pretend that you're a producer? Yeah. Because you don't yeah. seem to know any of the rules. Because I reckon that name's made up. When did uh, I say a producer? When that, did I say a yeah, Carl one? Pinkerton is a name that you'd come up with on the spot. No, he doesn't work... No, he's not a producer. He says he works in sound. He works That's what in he sound. Says, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, work with this. This is my song for the lovers. It's a beautiful... 
beautiful track. I've played it before. I'll play it again. It's one of my favourite tracks of all time. It's Bob Dylan, If You See Her, Say Hello. Here's a little bit of trivia for her. This is the last song I ever played on the old XFM before wow. they came in and said, OK, you can go now. That's incredible. And it? Bringing tears to my eyes. Lovely. Well, the greatest singer-songwriter of all time. Beautiful. With one of his uh, best songs there. Absolutely. Bob Dylan, If You See Her. Say hello. She might be in Tangiers. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's having a go. He's, I he's, mean, if you're going to go to Tangiers on the off chance to <laughs> yeah, try and find her, I yeah. wouldn't bother. <laughs> yeah. You know? But I mean, you know, he's thinking, if you're going to be there, they're He's have desperate. A he's desperate. He's going, yeah. she might be in Tangiers. Uh, have you checked upstairs? She's definitely not upstairs. <laughs> just, just have a look. Well, anyway, that was Song for the Lovers. But because I'm so excited about having such great prizes to give away for the first time, some albums <laughs> that Carl found, so um, got we've got the lucky winner on the line. Hi, Neil. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Ricky. Hi. You're a winner with XFM. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, do you like Feeder? They're a good group, aren't they? Feeder, well, yeah, the kids seem to like them. They do. The kids like them. And then Bob Dylan, uh, he's a he's a great, um, lovely bloke with a guitar, isn't he? You're working hard, aren't you? I'm, I'm, I'm fed up with this, mate. <laughs> really. Honestly, I just don't know what else to do. I, I come in every week. I try, uh, try and write, see... Yeah. You have to write a new series of, uh, of The Office. I'm That's what you have to do. I'm trying, but I've got voiceover work now, so there's more yeah, money in that, you know. you're everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Willie's adverts. Yeah. Ooh, sorry, I shouldn't mention that shit on the radio. No, it's all right. It's so, all right. Uh, Neil, uh, Steve Merchant here. Uh, will you be looking forward to receiving these albums? You've got Feeder, Echo Park, uh, Bob Dylan album, The Best Of, and uh, a compilation. You looking forward to them? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, I, I mean, it's going to really lift my Christmas. Uh, I'm not going to not gonna get to your home this year, so that's going to make up for it, I'm sure. Neil, what, what are, of those three, which one will you be putting on first? I think Feeder Echo Park, because the kids seem to like it. Okay. Excellent. Thanks very much, What are you going to be doing for the rest of the weekend? Are you going to be chilling out? <laughs> I'm chilling, man. I'm freezing. I'm playing golf right now. It's, uh, That's it's madness. Very, it's very cold yeah. out here. What's it's, your handicap? What's my handicap? My short game's terrible. But, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're going to be watching the uh, National Comedy Awards this evening. I hear that The Office uh, is nominated. <laughs> ah, you guys are the shoe-in. Sorry? Yeah. You're, the, you're a shoe-in. It's yours. Thank no, you. I don't really know what a shoe in is, but I'd like to go to one. I think it means like um, foot You're, in the door. Lovely. Yeah. Does no, it? not foot in the door. It's like no. it's yours. Your name's already on it. Oh, really? Wow. I would think so. Yeah. Well, other, what, what, why would Ross stop around? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he makes the decisions. Neil, but... thanks very much for calling. Those uh, those uh, prizes are going to be winging their way to you. We're just like real DJs, aren't we, Neil? Just say we're just like real DJs, and we'll leave you alone. You guys are just like real DJs. Thanks Enjoy your game. Alone. Cheers. Bye. Step on my old size nine stereophonics. Absolutely. Well, talking to Neil, it all brought it home. You know, maybe I should give it a little bit back. Yeah, you've I'm, had a good year. I'm hanging out with Jonathan Ross. Exactly. I'm doing ads, yeah. right? But I care. I'm still in touch. You know what I mean? I'm still down with it, yeah, right? Yeah. And, you know, it's coming up to the time of year where we should, you know, care about people less fortunate than themselves. And what I've done, I've recorded a, a, a Christmas single. That's beautiful. And all proceeds are going, you know, to... Uh, you know, little sick people and that. And Are there going to be any proceeds? There's going to be not a sausage. <laughs> right. So I'm right. safe. But I'll tell you this, what I was thinking actually, I was listening this morning, and you go in, uh, doing some Christmas shopping, you go in the shops, and there's always, you know, walking in a winter wonderland, and all those songs. You know, no one writes those sort of things anymore. No. Uh, it, well, you're wrong, Steve. Really? Listen to this. It's What's called it called? Don't Cry, It's Christmas. Let's hear it. Don't Ricky cry, Jubilee. it's a little game. Do you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's already become a standard. One of the classics. Thanks. There's a star. Ash. Good. It's a great show so far, isn't it? Enjoying it, Rick, but I'll tell you this. What worries me Go is on. something we've not done, which is what we've not we've not taken on board some stuff I've heard from the management. They've said they've enjoyed the kind of light-hearted flippery, you know, yeah. in the past on the yeah. show. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, the likes of Jonathan Ross getting just, their just knobs out. Yeah. But uh, they just feel that sometimes it's a little bit cheap. Rick, no, a little bit what, crass, and they just want us way? to perhaps be a little bit more highbrow at times. A little well, bit more that, I mean, well, you're a smart yeah. guy. I, I am, yeah. Know. Well, I've proved that with clugs having four noses and Stephen's Tower. Can I ask you, Rick, about politics? What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Because I'm, I'm a political person. <laughs> I thought as much. Go on. What on the politics? What do you make of who to vote for? Vote for the government, whoever's in the government. Yeah. That's the it. liberals ever? No, not if they're not in government. No, okay. don't. What about the foot and mouth, which a lot of people have worried about? Don't worry about it. No? No. Recession is hit, and a lot of people are losing their jobs. Should yeah. they? What should they do about Get it? Get another one. Get, Get another, another job. job. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, this is... And this is... I mean, you can have this for free. If you do lose your job or something, get another one, but get a one that's even better than the one you lost. Right. 
<laughs> okay, good advice. Yeah. Maybe get maybe if you were just like kind of the post boy before, like Carl, get in charge of the company, get a manager's job. Right, become director general or something. More money. <laughs> good, 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 good. And or, don't lose that one. <laughs> okay. And um, oh, what else is concerning people? No, a lot. Of, we get calls all the time, Rick, to the yeah. station. People saying I'm worried about the war in Afghanistan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of the war? Is it is, or, or, it, is well, it one of your favourites? Well, what? If I, no, 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 no. My favourite. All war's bad. Uh, but uh, oh, my favourite. Uh, I'm putting Fal you on the spot here. What is Falklands. your favourite? Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Is it, it the Falklands it, War? It was a range war. What does that mean? That means Carl. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember drawing pictures at school and that. Yeah, it it means that our missiles could go sort of 17 kilometres, yeah. and the Argus only had missiles that go like you know nine kilometres. So we just parked our boats about 12, 13 kilometres off it, and we were shelling them. You know, I mean, yeah. shelling it out of there, right? and theirs were falling in the water. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's the war equivalent of holding a midget at arm's length. Right, and he's trying to punch you. And he can't reach yeah. you, you're just kicking him in the balls at <laughs> will. That was, uh... Rick, a lot of people talk about WW1 as being the Great War. Was it a Great War for no, you? No, it was a good war. It wasn't a Great War. Right. <laughs> What's the problem well, for Well, I liked all the... I liked the bayonets and the trenches and all that stuff, but I could have done without the poetry. Right. Only, only because the poetry's a little bit bent. <laughs> okay. And, you know, and what I'm saying is the only time that it isn't bent in a war... But, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's beautiful, but there's one now I remember, he goes, um, we are the dead, once we lived, felt dawn on our face, but now we lie in Flanders fields. Be honest, if you'd have had a gun in your hand instead of a pen, yeah. you might be alive you today. Be dead, yeah. And the war yeah. would have been over by Christmas. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> High five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's losers. politics, Carl. Any other questions, politics Carl, you want to solve you know, any high... Economics, features? I've done economics. Because, yeah, it's the economical. Anything just, else? I just think you should look after yourself. <laughs> you know <Okay>. what I mean? <laughs> Carl, I've just got something to say to you. Hip hop, hooray! Hey. Let's play my hip hop track. Whoa. Yeah. Hey. Put Whoa. your hands in the air. Yay. Move them round like you just don't care. Yeah, you're not even bothered. <laughs> I'm playing an old school track this week, Rick. Excellent. I'm going back in time, rewinding the clock. How are you spelling school, Steve? <laughs> oh, with a K. Go on. Uh, ever heard of anything by Digital Underground? The Humpty Dance, might you might the remember. The Humpty Dance. Do you remember that? That was um, a fellow who sat on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. And he was he was getting dissed by yeah. the police, and he fell, and he broke all up. And the king's horses shouldn't have really been sent to to repair an egg. <laughs> they couldn't do it because of their hooves. <laughs> uh, anyway, Digital Underground, for those that don't remember, was an Oakland group led by Shock G and Chop Master J. Go on. Uh, but of course, most famous now for the fact that they featured uh, Tupac Shakur. Love him. Where he first began. You'll hear him on this track. It's called uh, what's it, which one have I chosen here? I think it's called the same song. Have a listen. <laughs> Ross was uh, slagging off the hip-hop feature, wasn't he, when he came in earlier? And how can you not like that? Digital Underground, same I, song. I think he was scared of it, Steve. I think he was intimidated understand it. By, your, by your youth. Well, he's scared of the youth. He's scared of the fact that I'm down with it, the homers and the bitches and the hoes. Yeah, he, yeah. Because he, he's not with that, you I know? He looks dapper. If they saw him in the street walking down like a ponce, they'd just laugh and jeer. But yeah. probably rhythmically. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and he couldn't come back at anything. And you'd be high-fiving. Oh, they'd, they'd be loving, loving you. Me. I, th I think he was intimidated by your style. I think he's jealous of you, to be honest. Do you know, I think what he's probably most jealous of is the looks. <laughs> yeah, I think Do you so. know what I mean? Yeah. I got the new haircut, because we might be on the telly later. He right? didn't mention that, did didn't, he? Did he? Well, he's never seen the old one. <laughs> you, you've kept him from me. <laughs> <laughs> he's got nothing to compare it with. But that was a great hip-hop selection there. Yeah, lovely. Even lovely though film. I say so yourself. Rick, we've had a couple of people, because uh, they've, they've listened to your dissection of current politics and economicals. Yeah. And they've got a couple of questions for you. Go on. We've had one from uh, <laughs> Jimmy Ruffin. He says, uh, what becomes of the broken hearted? Oh, oh, oh dear. Um, that is a difficult one. I don't think I've got time to go into that, because it's, it's a very delicate problem. Can you answer this one from the KLF? What time is love? <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> Listen, keep those questions coming in uh, for Ricky Jones. You may be able to sort them out later. Have we got a second, Carl? Let's whack it off. Still to come, the song for this. It's not the end of the world. Super furry animals. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. XFM 104.9. Rick, you going to do your film review for us? We've got time for it, I think. I'm not, no. Why not? I'm not going to do it anymore. You're not going to do it anymore? No. You love it, don't you? No, it's great, and I just think it's time... You know, I did, I did a dozen... But I did all the do the films that I would give like nine or you know ten out of ten for. I don't want to drop the standards. Right. I don't want to start doing films that are eight out of ten. Yeah. You see. Yeah. That's where a lot of film reviews go wrong. Yeah. Ross I've being one of them. Yeah. I've seen yeah. them go. Oh, this is worth seven. Don't do it then. <laughs> yeah. If it's no good, don't do it. <laughs> no, it's yourself. No.
Sure. So, so no more film reviews? No. Oh. And, until a great film comes out. Sure, okay. Like uh, Braveheart 2 or something. Yeah. Which would be, which, well, nine now. Quite it an was, eventful, yeah. I'd have thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nine for that. Um, In well, advance. Rick, <laughs> it's almost the end of the show, and yeah. still got time for the uh, song for the ladies. I can't but wait. Carl won't be here next week. Well, he was, he was going. Where are you heading, Carl? Going away for Christmas? Tell us. What is a secret? What you want? You, 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 <laughs> well, in case, in case your fans try and track you down. What are you going taking pictures of planes in Greece? <laughs> what? What political? Rob your house. Satirical, don't Steve. <laughs> Satirical. <laughs> Where are yeah. you going? What are you doing? If Go I tell you what. If I was caught in a foreign country and the, and, and the government got me and said, no, it's okay, they're a train spotting or plane spotting, i go, no, I am a spy. <laughs> exactly. No, I am a spy. No, you were, it's all right, you were train spotting. <laughs> but I wasn't. <laughs> wasn't spying, please. I saw you at the uh, Doctor Who convention as well. No, no, prob no I'm probably an assassin or something, are <laughs> yeah. I'm probably an assassin. Carl, where are you going, mate? Tell us, come you, on, no, we haven't got time. to say when... What's that, are you? What? People rob your house if... Yeah. We didn't say, tell us your address, <laughs> where, tell us where you leave the key, <laughs> yeah. and then tell us you're going on holiday. We said, where are you going on a holiday? Barbados. Oh, yeah? Ooh. Showing off. Yeah. Boasting. I'll tell you what, Steve, what I'd like to see, and a lot of the listeners right there too, pop round there now, touch him for Christmas. Shall I touch him for Christmas? Touch him any way you like for Christmas. Can love I just introduce the song for the ladies before? Well, love him for Christmas, though. <laughs> Can I just say, yes, uh, what but the song as long is? as you love and touch him. We're going to leave you with uh, the excellent Tim Buckley, of course, father of Jeff. I'm and, just going to be uh, watching, but love him that was look also, at his little face. Also on that CD that my friend Dave sent me earlier, so if you don't like it, blame him. Yeah. Uh, while he's been arrested if... by the copyright police. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's called Buzzing Fly. Let me touch you, Carl. Oh, Steve. Go on. Kiss a man for Christmas. I'm not calling Kiss a man for Christmas. Oh, look. Touch with your family inside of town. Yeah. I can put you in touch with your family inside. I'm liking it, so I can't look. I'm busy. Look, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs>